welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 211, uh, the third episode in year uh, five. Uh, the story is today we're going to build a hammer handle. This is a hammer handle we built uh, several months ago for a friend of mine, and I'm so proud of it that I took it over to his house and uh, bragging on it and everything, and I'd beaten it and pulling nails, and you know, I was all fired up for it. Well, guess what? I, I, uh, I broke the handle. So that's pretty embarrassing. Well, today we're going to replace the handle and we're going to try to kick it up a notch. Um, I'm going, going to try to make it out of a piece of firewood. Um, we're going to show several different techniques to make a handle. And I think it's going to, going to have a lot of takeaways. But let's knock off the chit chat. Let's do a little and get to work. Post mortem on this handle. See if we can figure out why it failed. Metal wedge split the wood, and weakened it. Could be bad wood. Most likely, I just missed uh, mistreated the. a couple the of practice handle. handles I made. This is sort of a duplicate of the one we broke. Problem is, it's a, it's the same. It's the same wood, so. If our problem was the wood, then we don't want to use this. This is one slightly different design. I, I made it fatter up here at the top. Um, it's made out of oak, but I'm having a splitting problem with it. It's cracking right here. It's also got a crack, crack in Here's here. Some stock I considered. This is more of that ash that uh, we made the other one out of. This big piece here, I don't this know is what oak, it is, but I don't like the way the grain goes. It goes sideways here. And you want, you want your grain to go all the way through. And this grain comes up here and then cuts off this one. And I actually thought about taking from this uh, black walnut here. And you know, the grain is real straight, but <clears throat> I've never heard of making a handle out of uh, black walnut. So what I've decided on is I'm going to take this piece of firewood here, and it's oak. And what I really like about it, see how stringy uh, this, this wood is? The grain goes all the way through. You know, this will make a real good, a real good handle. Time for an intermission. <clears throat> you remember a few weeks ago we put this uh, 25 inch uh, dual drum sander in here. Uh, I rigged up that Rube Goldberg dust collection system. You remember when we first got it in here, the thing was almost ruined because they were using it without dust collection and all the dust was uh, clogging up all the mechanism. So, anyway, I, I hooked this. Uh, homemade dust collection system. Interestingly, like, you remember last year our goal was to get all of our equipment off this big fan. And I think the day that I accomplished that, I basically just ran the um, thickness planer it has its own fan and just ran it out the window. Um, I got this uh, dust, I got this uh, dual drum sander and so on. Remember last week we were fiddling with the uh, drum, but I realized I didn't know anything about them. So I don't have an instruction manual or anything. But I finally, I mean, it's really simple. They just, the belt just, or the, the uh, paper just winds up on there and it's got little clips down here that you put the ends okay, in. Okay, I guess the intermission's over. We, uh, we flattened both sides of this board here. So we got two parallel edges. I'm going to finish flattening it with the uh, thickness planer. We got one. And that's the flat 
edge I'm talking about is just right in here. That'll run up against the fence and make the uh, cut straight. So we went from a piece of uh, firewood to a nice little uh, block here of wood that we'll use to make our handle made that with. This uh, practice handle here, and you can see it looks exactly like the other one. Uh, let me show you how I do that. I'll use this one as a model. Yeah, whenever you <clears throat> have to uh, make a hammer handle, if you have the old one, if you have the old one, all you have to do, let me get an ink pen so you can see what I'm doing, is you lay the you lay the one you're trying to copy on top like this, and then you just trace it. Can't be any easier than that, can it? Now for the cool part, you put the handle you're trying to copy on the side of your stock and trace it again. So now, there's a side view of my uh, hammer handle and there's a top view. If I, if I cut this out and then I cut this out, this is what, hey, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut here on my bandsaw. I'm just going to go through and cut out this side view all the way through and I'll do that on both sides. I don't have any dust collection on this uh, on this uh, large bandsaw so I have to use this B-52. It works pretty good but it's kind of jerry-rigged. There's the uh, side we sides we cut off. Now for the magic, we're going to put these sides back on there. It's like that. And kind of tack them in place. So now we got our board back, this is the way it was. Uh, we've already cut out this part here. Now we just have to cut out this part here. So here's our, here's our board we had. Now let's take all the parts a piece um, and see what happens. And there's our handle. Okay, let's uh, smooth this thing out. Well, all your excuses are over because you can cut this blank out with a jigsaw and you can shape the whole thing using a drill. And everybody has a drill. I'm trying to be dramatic here, but uh, the, the story is that, you know, a lot of things that we do in here that I use fancier, you know, uncommon tools, but you don't have to use those tools. Most things you can do just, uh, you know, you can just uh, use common tools. And, and for most carving, you can just use an electric drill with one of these uh, stick-on 40 grit pads. 
And you can take a lot of material off with that thing and you can carve good with it. But you need some kind of dust uh, control. I'm using uh, this fan over here. This So now that I have the basic shape, I've duplicated that shape. Now I want to put these, I'm going to round these corners off. And the best way to do that is with a hand sander. Yeah, I've got the handle about where I want it. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just cut this neck down to where the hammer head will fit on it. And that'll just be a trial there. Well, I got the uh, neck on it where I can get the uh, hammer head on there. I think I can drive it down the rest of the way. Um, now all I gotta do is put uh, put a notch in it for the wedge. I'm no expert on it, but I think that hammerheads get their strength when you drive it on when you drive the hammer head on the neck you drive it down against this solid wood here on this angle and that really gives it now you strength. don't just uh, take a hammer and you know and pound it on uh, I don't know even know if that'll work what you need to do is find something solid in this case I have a mandrel but if you have uh, you know a, a big rock or a stump or you know something something's got a lot of mass to it then you just you pound down on it like this well, the question is always do you put glue on the wedge and I always do I don't know what the right answer is the same drill here you got to have the handle on the solid surface otherwise when you drive your wedge in the hammerhead will, will tend to uh, pull itself off we, we got the wooden wedge in there now we're going to put this steel wedge right in the center if I can get it started. Okay, here we go. I got it propped up against the mandrel. Well, this is about the darkest stain I have. I don't know how compatible it is with uh, <laughs> Danish oil. But I'm trying to get, make it kind of look old or older. Well, today we, uh, we learned how to make a hammer handle, how to duplicate uh, hammer handles and make as many of many copies as we wanted. Um, 
We also went over how to turn a piece of firewood into a, uh, a blank for a, uh, a hammer handle. And we actually uh, finished this thing up uh, using a, uh, an electric drill. So didn't use any special tools to do the final shaping. Well, that does it for another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 211. Uh, kind of a smaller project, but I think we had a lot of takeaways. We, we fixed this broken hand, uh, handle that I broke. Uh, we learned how to duplicate handles uh, real easy just by doing the side profile and top profile and then cutting it out with a jigsaw or a... Uh, a scroll saw or jig saw or coping saw or whatever you want to do and then you get the blank and then you just take an electric drill with one of those uh, uh, sticky pads on the front and then you shape it down the way you want it and what you end up with is a fancy hammer handle any shape you want or you can uh, spend uh, about $1.89 and buy one down at the hardware store. Oh, this is what you want to do. All right. Uh, oh, and we also learned how to take a piece of ply uh, firewood and turn it into a handle. So that's a pretty good takeaway. Well, anyway, like and fair, uh, favorite and share and comment and all the stuff you do on the Internet. Most important, make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.